It is almost the weekend in the 608. We're living for Friday, mm -hmm. and here today with a look at what's going on around town is Emmy Fink. Hi, Emmy. Good to, good see, to see you. Good to see you guys. We're going to start with such a fun event where the kids take over, the uh, parents take over, so the kids can back off. That's right. <laughs> Just back off for one night. No kids allowed. This Friday night at the Madison Children's Museum, the grown-ups get to play during the Adult Swim Sustainability Sideshow from 6 until 10 p.m. It's the fifth time that they're doing this. It's a green-themed carnival. So get ready for games, upcycled fashion, art and carnival-inspired local food, and live music. Just $12.75 in advance or $15 the day of. I wonder if they like slide down the slides. I, like, I bet they do. I hope so. As the evening goes along, probably more so. That's right. Some, some great <laughs> dancing this weekend. Great dancing. Beautiful dancing on Friday night as well as Saturday night and Sunday. The Canopy Dance Company brings snapshots of Spain to Overture. So this is a celebration of Spain's rich culture of contemporary and experimental dance. So they're known for their flamenco dances. Mm. I had to look this up. It's an art form made up of three parts. Guitar playing, song, and dance. So now that I know what it is, yeah. I think I'm a fan of flamenco. Oh, it looks so yeah. beautiful. So, so beautiful. oh, they just yeah, move so eloquently. Incredible. I'd love to see that. How about a little classical music this weekend? All week? right, we can do that. The Madison Symphony Orchestra will put on colossal piano this weekend at Overture Hall. So talented pianist Philippe Bianconi returns to the orchestra to perform Piano Concerto Number no. 3, one of the most challenging works for the piano. With John Domain directing, the orchestra will also play Concerto for Orchestra. So this event is also going on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday. Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And some music, some interesting music on campus. Yeah, it's very cool. They're celebrating two decades on campus, the UW Russian Folk Orchestra. Who? I didn't even know they had one. <laughs> and who thought they'd be able to find enough people to do it? That's what's very cool. They're putting on a premiere of compositions by two of their members. Original music by conductor and founder Viktor Gordinsky, Russian and Slavic folk songs, and the work of Russian composer Tchaikovsky. The musicians play traditional stringed and woodwind instruments, accordion, and percussion. So help congratulate them on 20 years this Saturday night. That's 730 at the Mills Concert Hall. Very cool. And the spotlight is on some local kids this weekend. It is. All right, this is very cool. For one day, one day only, Sunday afternoon, students of Kaganza Elementary in Stoughton joins the Stoughton Opera House for the adaption, adaptation of the Elixir of Love. So it's an installment of opera for the young. As kids perform, they're going to be in roles of Justice of the Peace, the Soldier of the Citizens of Lonesome Gulch, and that's a town in the American Old West. So this show will tackle some serious themes like bullying and substance abuse, but it is pretty kid-friendly, and the opera is sung in English, so that's helpful for the kids and the adults out there. Like, yeah, And the opera singers are professional opera singers, and the, the kids yeah. do the performing, or the other roles like the course and stuff. Yeah, but how cool for them to get that exposure. Yeah, it really is. It's a lot of fun. It's a great organization. Yeah. And bias. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. Thank you guys. Thanks, Emmy. Good to see you. you get too. this month's Madison magazine for all the best in the Madison area.